What's up YouTube, Seth here on Super Seth TV and in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at the fingerprint scanner on the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus and also comparing it to the Google Pixel 2 XL as well as OnePlus 5T which in my experience have been some of the fastest and best fingerprint scanners out there. So most of you guys will already know that on the Samsung Galaxy S8, the S8 Plus as well as the Note 8 the fingerprint scanner was in an awkward position right up near the cameras and this was something that a lot of people fed back on last year. Samsung took this feedback on board and have now put the fingerprint scanner right below the cameras in a very similar position to some of these other devices out there. Now you can see that I've customized the look of my devices here and that is thanks to our sponsor for this video, dbrand. If you want to customize your own device, then definitely check them out. I'll be leaving a link to them in the description below. Right, so let's kick off with speed. And you can see here in the usual Super SAF style, we've got a mirror so that way we can see exactly how long each of these take. And I have filmed these separately to keep things as fair as possible and then sync them up later. Here we go. That was pretty close. Very difficult to tell, so let's slow this down. And you can see all were pressed at the same time. And it was the OnePlus 5T, which is pretty much instant. And there is very minimal animation. Then it was the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, then the Google Pixel 2 XL. But nevertheless, very, very close. Now let's try from the lock screens. Again, very, very close. Very difficult to tell them apart, slowing this down. And this time it did look like it was the S9 Plus followed by the Google Pixel 2 XL and the OnePlus 5T at the end. Very interesting. So as you can see from the speed, these are all super fast and the S9 Plus is definitely one of the fastest out there right now. Now let's talk about the size and position. The first thing is the size is slightly smaller compared to the other devices. So that might be something that you have to still get a little bit used to, but it's not too bad. And the other thing is that it is still quite close to the cameras. So you can still smudge the lens of the secondary camera, whereas on the Pixel as well as the 5T, the cameras are all the way up here at the top. So there is pretty much no chance that you're gonna be smudging the cameras when looking for the fingerprint scanner. Now I know generally speaking, these are very minor things. And to be honest with muscle memory, you'll probably get used to the position of the fingerprint scanner on the S9 Plus, but just definitely something to bear in mind. Now the S9 Plus also comes with some alternative unlocking methods. We've got the iris scanner like we had last year. We've got a facial recognition. We've also got intelligent scan, which uses a combination of both. On the OnePlus 5T, we also have facial recognition too. This is something that we don't have on the Google Pixel 2 XL. Me personally, I do prefer a fingerprint scanner. I think it's the easiest and most convenient way to unlock your smartphone. Now, I know a few of you guys have asked me to do a comparison between the iPhone Face ID versus Intelligent Scan on the S9 Plus. Now, I'm still trying to figure out how I would actually do that and how I could compare that fairly. Uh, but I will see if I can do something. And if you want to see that video first, if and when it ever goes live, then make sure you have subscribed and switch on notifications. I hope you enjoyed this short video and found it useful. If you did, then do hit that thumbs up button for me. We just help me out. And definitely let me know in the comments what you thought of the results and what you'd like to see next here on the channel. Thanks for watching. This is Safa on Super Saf TV. I'll see you next time.